Hello everyone, Super Mario Poke here, and here I have a double header TCGO match. And this first match is kind of laggy because I was rendering out yesterday's upload, but it is a very good match against a very cool deck that is very interesting. And when you can get it set up, it is very, very dangerous. So I do, you know, go ahead and discard some stuff, and I get a ton of water energies. And it's probably about half the w amount of water energies I run in my deck. Since I don't need that many, since I'm running, you know, two bear ticks and one Kiram, and I'm, you know, it works out with the amount I have. So, uh, basically, though, I'm, you know, I've gotten a lot of stuff set up pretty early, and I see a Cluff and a Retram, so I'm not really sure what he's trying to do. Um, and it turns out, you know, he has Retram and Zekrom, and those are mainly, I guess, you know, you put DCEs on them and just outrage spam. As it is mainly not what the uh, thing is, but he does have Pichu, and I'm fine with that. I don't, I don't mind that he has Pichu. It's just you know he has Pichu, um, and I guess he he thought about you know just going ahead and putting stuff on his bench, but he decided instead just to see what goes on with Cleffa. Cleffa wakes up, which means I can take him out, and it turns out that you know I get enough to set up Kiram. That's not good for him. As I can retreat out to Kiram and take out both baby Pokemon in one shot for two prizes. And so he is going down. Now, near the end of this video, as this is a double header, I will go ahead and there are some major channel stuff that you should guys should know about. Which is pretty cool. Um, but besides that, you know, he's just going to go ahead and go for a collector. And... With the collector, he's probably you know he's gonna start setting up his bench. Now he has a lot of stuff to set up: Rayunaquiz, Dawn Fan, and a um, Vile Plume, and a uh, oh, what's it called? Blossom. Because what this deck is is basically he uses Blossom to counteract the earthquake, but he uses the Rayunaquiz and Blissey and stuff. To counteract the uh, damage done to Donphan Prime, so it's basically unlimited Donphan Prime spam, which is kind of dangerous if you think about it. Kind of dangerous. So I do pull a Pecom. Unfortunately, with that, I don't have any Pokemon, so I can't Pecom for that second electric or for other stuff. But seeing that um, I'm not going to want to set up electric Pokemon, I'm going to want to try to set up another Bear Tick. Um, as I don't think I have both of them not in the prizes. Uh, not sure about that, but highly doubt it as I never get both my Bear Ticks. But I only need one, at least for now. Um, hopefully, that's all I'll need. And I can Engineer's Adjustments, a Water Energy. And using that Water Energy wasting is like, no, but I do get something to Pecom out. And I don't really want to use all my, you know, I don't want to use Raichu. I want to be wary with the Zekrom. I really want to run Bear Tick, and I want to run my Kiram. And I want to be able to revive that Kiram, you know, with the revive I have in my hand since he's going to die pretty soon. Or, you know, not die, but get discarded. I mean, that's a euphemism for dying. Um, But basically, I don't want to set up Electric Pokemon because I know he's going to be running Dawn Fan. And I was in a call, and one of my friends was like, yeah, he's running this deck. And he, uh, I was like, oh, um, sounds kind of like a problem. So I've got to worry for that. I'm just going to set up my second electric. So I've got, I'm have got, i good there. Um, I could set up a third one, but it's kind of pointless unless I'm putting Raichu out. And since Raichu will be only doing 80 damage and dying in one hit to Donphan Prime, it's not the smartest thing to set up unless I'm like, I need stuff in the discard. Um which I'm never going to do, at least in this battle. Besides that, basically here, you know, he's trying to set this stuff up, and he goes into Zekrom. And Zekrom means the end of my Kiram. Because even in out, you know, even if he, you know, basically he just can outrage take me out, because I only have 10 HP left. And that is perfectly fine. I can just, you know, go ahead. I top deck the uh, Cub Chew, which I can start setting up. That is great news. I can put two electric energies on him so I can, you know, go ahead and move one over. But I can also revive my Kiram. So now I have two electric energies I need to put on two pokes. 
as you know, the whole point of this deck with the water Pokemon is that, and yeah, I don't have enough electric energies, but the whole point of this deck with the water Pokemon is that besides, you know, Kyurem needs two water and one elect or one colorless, uh, for bear tech to attack, he needs one water and two colorless and then two water and two colorless. So it works out to the point where long story short. It's I can set them up with the electrics as well as my Zekrom and Raichu and so it's it works out pretty well I can speed up the deck a lot by adding collectors, which I don't have and I've been trying to pull for so long um, And I guess by trying to get collectors I can get rare candies which I can use in another deck that I want to show you guys soon uh, There's a couple decks I'm working on and basically a lot of unfinished decks, but there's I think one other deck that I can actually you know show uh, maybe uh, basically it's you know it's not the fastest deck it's actually really slow but it's cool so I'll try to get some recordings of that but this deck is looking pretty good I'm liking this deck a lot it's probably my favorite besides the fact that I'm also wanting to run a Deoxys Rayquaza legend deck um and so I'm and that's actually I'm I'm working pretty good on that. I've already got a lot of the cards I need for it. Besides, you know, the Deoxys and the Cause of Legend, and then some of the trainers. And thankfully, though, once I can finally pull all these trainers that I need, building decks is going to be so much easier because it's mainly you know the rare candies, the collectors, um, and just like you know the staple trainers that I don't have. But the uh, the nice thing about this deck is I don't have any stage threes and I have a lot you know I have some basics I need more Zekroms um, that I'm trying to pull because I need it. probably one more would be nice because uh, I'm only running two and they always somehow both of them always end up in my prizes somehow some way but I can definitely use three uh, but besides that you know the Pokemon of this deck are basically good you know I run Kiram as I only run one Kieran because I don't need him all the time, but when I do, he works out really nicely. Like, as you saw, I took two prizes really early, um, and it's just something that, in certain situations, it's good to have, especially against, you know, Durant decks. Um, and so, it, it works out. It works out. Then I run Bear Ticks because the whole point of this deck was Bear Tick and Sekrom, how, you know, both can get set up by the Electrics pretty easily. And besides the Bear Tech Zekrom, I added in Raichu Prime later because Raichu Prime works really nicely with the Dynamotor. Um, as the, uh, you know, he discards electric energies that I can put on the uh, on my bench. And those bench energies go back to Raichu and he re-discards them. So it works out very nicely and I like it a lot. And then Cleffa is just Cleffa. Cleffa is very good Pokemon to have. Especially when it's like, yeah, yeah, you pull six en or you pull like five energies in a Cleffa first turn. Well, now you have something to do, right? You can eek all over the place and go ahead and get a new hand. So it works out very nicely. I like the deck a lot. And besides the whole deck ramblings, he starts setting up the uh, Dom Fan in. That's not good. That's not good. He has a rainbow energy to put on it. He only needs one energy, so rainbow energy works. Um, not sure what I, he might be. I don't know what energies he's running in this deck. Um, maybe I didn't take a glance. Probably fighting. Maybe electric, depending on the Zekroms and stuff. But probably fighting because you know Dawn Fan Prime. Um, but the uh, he probably just only had a Rainbow one in his hand. But he doesn't care because he has the uh, Rayuniclus. Now with Bear Tick going. I need, you know, I top deck the water energy I need to finish it off, which is so good. I needed that water energy. I've been so dry on water energies that I need. Uh, they're probably, they're just all on the bottom of my deck. I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm running enough of them. I'm running, I th I'm running enough that I, if I used all, like the required amount on all my water types, I have left over. And then I'm running a ton of electric energy for obvious reasons. Uh, but it it works out. It's a very it's a very nice deck. Speed it up. The trainers will speed it up a little bit. Uh, Zekrom will make it a little bit more reliable. And overall, I like it a lot. It's yeah, I like it. But besides that, he has Donphan. And the thing with Donphan is he can take all those damage counters off of it, which he puts back on because I think he's gonna move him to someone else. But he has Trainer Lock and he has Blossom. Uh, basically because you know Trainer Lock. That'll help him out a lot. 
and then because he doesn't need trainers he's he's good he has every all the recovery everything he needs on the bench and that also prevents catchers which completely ruin his deck uh and then he has blossom which he has you know he still has two glooms but you know he has a blossom somewhere probably in his prizes that recover you know 10 damage off of everyone I, unless i'm wrong there but i'm pretty sure i'm right and so he can recover everything for the earthquake but then he can also move around all the damage counters that were on don fan evenly you know throughout the bench that will you know get recovered by the uh, blossom and then he also has blissey prime one because it's like an hp take two i believe it has an attack that lets you recover everything um something like that but I have a PO new theory. I'm gonna go ahead and use it since I don't need that electric in my hand, and I do get a Pcom and a Cub Chew, but I don't need it for anything. And thankfully, you know, I get an electric energy, not water, but an electric. And you know, the water energy, I'd probably just go ahead and place on Kiram as he decides to forfeit. So he knows that the match is not going to go his way. He is not going to be able to win out because sheer cold causes his Dawnfan not to be able to attack. So he can move around the energies all he wants, but eventually he's just going to run out of sp spaces to put them. And now we have a second match for you guys. This is a very quick match. Now, if you want to not hear a spoiler on the channel, go ahead and skip ahead probably like 30 seconds or so. So you won't hear that. Now... I would like you guys on this video to comment what Pokemon hack and or you know game card let's play you want me to do uh, preferably one um, a DS version or Kaizo blue if you guys really want it uh, I guess I could do that but I don't know much about all the different kinds of hacks there are and I know Wiles doing one and I know other people have done them before but let me know what hack you want to see on uh, preferably one with higher quality and a, you know a good hack too I don't give me a bad hack <laughs> but besides that for um, I'm going to start doing one of those so make sure that you guys comment below which you know what you want to see now besides that you guys can plug your ears now if you don't want to be spoiled although you guys don't know about that because you know your ears are plugged you can't hear what I'm saying so besides that the uh, also basically tomorrow leave also leave a comment what do you want to see tomorrow TCGO do you want to see a Wi-Fi battle or do you want to see a retro battle? As I'm going to do any of those three tomorrow, uh, but not all of those three, as I'm going to be spending most of my time tomorrow with my family, and I'll try to do the upload today based on the comment section after I upload this, and then you know try to get that done with that getting the uh, so I have it to upload tomorrow for you guys for Christmas. Now, um, what there was one other thing. Uh, oh yeah, I might also do like a couple other games. Well, as in one other game, not sure yet. Like you know what like I showed you at Thanksgiving, so thinking about that. But I do have four different Pokemon series for you guys that I'm going to try to, you know, upload for you guys. And I guess I have high CPU usage from Google Chrome. Don't care about that. Um, but I have four different Pokemon series for you guys going. And that's going to be awesome. A lot of fun. Tons of Pokemon content for you guys. Um, which I know you guys love Pokemon content. And then I'll probably also maybe have Minecraft. I'm not sure. But luckily though, I do. it's mainly going to be Pokemon. And probably one other thing for just like one of those little side things. We want, you know, record with some friends, that kind of stuff. And then I have another surprise for you guys that is still in the works with a couple of friends. Um, so I'm not, you know not going to release that many spoilers spoilers about it yet um, but it is a very nice surprise that you guys will enjoy um, more videos more content all that kind of stuff but it's a very cool surprise that you guys will see later and I'm not going to spoil any more than the fact that it's a surprise so some of you are going to be driving mad others of you aren't going to care two of you are going to know exactly what I'm talking about and the rest of you are in the other category. Now, here he disconnects because I plus power take him out. And that's actually the match. So, very short TCGO match. And, you know, we'll try to get something going. I had a plus power, which means I win. Because Zekrom against Zekrom equals plus power time. Whoever gets plus power wins. And that's all I have for you. So, he disconnects. And I have to wait for my win, which is crazy. I mean, come on. Really, TCGO? He has no Pokemon left. It's okay if you make a move for him. 
you know, just tell the AI, oh, he has no Pokemon left, I win. But besides me waiting, I do get the win. And I will talk to you guys later. So if you enjoyed this doubleheader, I would encourage you to leave a rating. Or if you know you enjoy what's coming for this channel with those four, possibly five or six series, uh, leave a like rating on this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would suggest you do because you will miss out on a lot of cool stuff. And besides that, I will see you guys later. Oh, one more thing. Make sure to check out the uh, my latest. I, well, I'll just leave it. I'll leave some videos in the video responses for you guys to check out if you haven't already. Because Solomite is a boss, and the uh, pilot episode of the Retro Wi-Fi Battles. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, uh, then you will know. And basically, they're Pokemon battles, but you know, you'll see. You'll see. Anyways, I will see you guys later. That's enough out of me. 